I didn't give it parachutes either, so welp. We've made we've made a water torpedo, everybody. Good work. That was exceptionally loud. I am sorry. Yeah. Um Let's see what we can do to mitigate <laughs> that complete disaster. And I think I know it's because things were actually going rather beautifully until we set up for the gravity turn. In which case, this thing was just impossible to control anymore. It just wasn't happening. Also, wait a second. Wait, what the fuck? Something's weird here. Okay, yeah, something about the way these stages are set up is just completely fucked. Like... What? Okay. These nine all fire, that's the first stage. Second stage... Is... Okay. These detach, parachutes deploy, and the three main lifter engines start to go. We might actually want to attach a solid booster somewhere here to give a little oomph on that stage because it's, ha it's having some trouble. Then what happens is this detaches all of it? What the fuck? Well, what about like... What about this stage? What is that? Is that... Those are engines. Those are more engines. So that is the... So yeah, this is kind of all wrong. <laughs> what needs to happen... Is... Okay, what... What exactly are these decouplers? Oh, they're... Th they're those decouplers. Alright, so... Yeah, what needs to happen is... Separate and fire, and then fire this one. But where's the decoupler? Oh, have I ruined everything? Now, see, yeah, look at okay, because this and this, okay, this and this, and then this and this. So, yes, this launch was doomed in, like, ten different ways. Yes, um... Let's fix, like, two of them. Also, let's put lander lights. On this thing, so that there's a possibility of us seeing where we're going. Hopefully. And hopefully that doesn't mess things up. It probably does, but I don't know. Just in case we need to land in the dark, which is something I'm hoping to avoid, but I mean, hey. Also, I just realized I could put a battery there, too, and it'd be, it'd be allowed. Like, it's not an illegal move. Ah, uh, it doesn't quite fit. The okay, communications. <laughs> I almost want to do that. No. Is there any way to get this to be straight on top. No. Well, I mean, the solar panel's kind of blocked. Okay, let's see what this does to the balance of the vessel. I'm legit curious. I know, I didn't put maneuvering fins on. I'm actually... Where would I put those damn things? Because I think if we do that, then we'll be able to kind of control it. Okay, it's still... It's weird it wobbles, kinda. Okay, let's see the extension for the comms dish. Okay. Uh. <coughs> Retract the comms dish. I don't know if this is gonna work at all. Um, no, we're gonna put maneuvering fins on it first. Last save was 30 seconds ago. That's fine. 
<laughs> if you're not having fun, what's the point? And that's true in general in games, but especially Kerbal Space Command really brings out that purity of, like, man, if you're not enjoying it, if you're not enjoying either the progress or the complete fucking miserable failures, what is the point? Okay, I think this won't destroy the... Oh, God, that looks wrong. That looks way wrong, and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, it'll only accept maneuvering fins in threes because of the stupid way I've set this up. Um, there, that probably won't destroy the, the craft, I hope. Clear the debris. <laughs> Bulldoze the wreckage off the deck so I can kill more. Actually, this is an unmanned probe, so we don't have to feel so bad about failing. You know, I don't think we've had a single Kerman die so far, which is... Weird. Alright, everybody. Okay, the rocket kinda looks cool. We're lifting. Still very loud, everybody. It's kind of cool. No one looks at their rocket from the like the view. That's what it looks like, like on the ground. That's kind of cool. I can't tell if we're going too fast to be efficient or if we're going too slow. I'm just gonna boost. As you can see, our speed. We're gonna start gaining speed a lot as we get farther out of the thickest part of the atmosphere and we get slightly off the surface. We're gonna start accelerating faster. Uh. I'm worried about what will happen to the stability of this craft when it's done. So I'm going to ease up on the throttle because we can. Yeah, we can and we're still climbing. I'm going to commence the gravity turn right now. Just a bit of one. So that we can detach. And then, whoa! Are we okay? All three engines are firing and they are... Oh god, what the fuck? Oh god, what? What is... Oh god, what is this? Oh god, is it this things? Are these things somehow torquing it? Oh god, that's not good. <laughs> oh god, I made... I made it worse. Just... Oh, just get onto the track. We don't have RCS. <laughs> okay, I know what we can do to stop this prop. Oh, why is that not exploding? <laughs> oh, God. Whatever. Um, these engines aren't power. We need more powerful engines. That's what we need. Okay, I'm hoping... Stop here, yeah, okay. We're stopping a bit. We have less mass to push around and less... Okay, we're going up now. Uh, this thing ain't getting to the moon, though. I'm not surprised. We are going really fucking... I don't... I honestly don't think we're getting to the moon, everybody. I just don't. On the other hand... Um... Well, we may as well try it. Okay. Let's plan a maneuver a little bit ahead. To even it out at a... Seventy-five. I just need... What if it was... We're actually coming up on it, so we will need to... That's the wrong direction to move things. What if it was... There we go. Now that made it... 
way worse. Okay, this isn't about maneuvers or planning. This is about the strength of humanity. Curb manity. We're just gonna fucking. When we get to about T minus 30 seconds, we're just gonna burn. This mission is still possible to salvage. Maybe. Oh god, everything is weird and reversed and I don't quite know how to describe it, but like... Yeah, those maneuvering fins are gonna help us in space, yep. But um, okay, I think we're gonna be cool. Yeah, definitely, we're gonna be cool. Okay, it looks cool. We definitely need more out of our stuff, though. We need more performance out of our things. Okay, get to... Get to 80... Th okay, that's not gonna... Whatever. Um... This ain't getting us to the moon. It just isn't. Because that last stage, that's our landing stage. Okay? So what we're going to do instead is we're just going to put this satellite into an orbit and pretend like we totally meant to do that, guys. So we're going to wait until we get a... Why is maneuver planning... Like, I understand how to do this intuitively, but it's like weirding out. 530, 450. Um... Is that acceptable? 540, 450. Actually, we might want to. 410, 450. Okay, that looks good. That maneuver looks fine. And thus, that's our glorious world. And this time we have a comms array. So we can transmit some of that yummy, yummy data. Even though there's not much to transmit out here, I mean. That is why we're here, so fuck it. Beep boop. This is now... <laughs> okay, we know this system can deliver rockets into orbit. And that's about it. Uh, let's turn to our maneuver node. We. It is fun to maneuver rockets out in space like this, like... I will admit that is quite fun. Okay. Okay. Maneuver node set up. Estimated burn four seconds with these engines. And we'll have about four seconds of burn left, so, you know. Wee. Okay, I, I love how it looks, even though the practicality can be debated. And we're just going to burn at T minus four seconds, because, I mean... I'm not going to time accelerate past it this time. Oh, I know your game, Kerbal. I know your game. Burn! Whoop. Um, I'll take it. That sure looks like an orbit to me. <laughs> uh. Okay, if we stop... Okay, this design isn't going to work. We don't have the kind of powerful engines that would make a design like that possible. We need to simplify. We need to streamline. We just do. In any case, this is our first satellite, everybody. Good work. That was totally the plan. So we're just going to face it so that it can face towards the glorious sun. And we're going to settle it in. And we're just going to leave this thing up here because, I mean... We might as well. Alright, if it points like this as it goes around, then it has a better chance of always being at least kind of pointed towards the sun. And once we get this stabilized out, we won't need to use... Okay. I 
That's weird. Look how it's completely stable. Uh, it should be stable to just... To just be like this forever, kinda. Like... And I mean... Yeah, we didn't quite get to that point where we're to the moon, but we have six... I thought about putting a satellite in orbit, so really that was my plan all along. Good job, everybody. We'll get what piddling science we can. And then... God, that looks so cool, but they're almost out of fuel. But I won't bother jettisoning them. There'll just be more space debris. We may as well just leave this thing up here. It's... Not the best orbit ever, but I don't... It's it's close enough. And we will redesignate you. We'll rename you... Um... Uh, we'll call you the Victory. Kerbal Space Program Satellite Victory. There we go. And you'll just kind of... Yeah, it'll stay there. This will be here pretty much forever. Like, even long after Kerbal Civilization has collapsed. This thing will be pretty much, even when it like runs out of electrical charge and everything falls apart. Fuck it. <laughs> Whatever. Back to the space center. Okay. Uh, I I knew that design when I like the the tricoupler, but it just doesn't have what we need right now. Even the boosters, the thrust to mass ratio on these things, these engines aren't powerful enough in the lower atmosphere to, I mean, they'll get us up there, but at what cost, you know? So I'm thinking this entire thing just needs to be scrapped, except like, the top bit. I am gonna try and come up with something equally ridiculous, and I'll be back again. Hmm. Wayfarer Mark II status report. Um, bits of the Wayfarer 2 will continue to rain on Kerbal Space Command. For approximately 5 to 10 minutes, all personnel should take the nearest available shelter as usual. One of the engines is continuing to boost, showing good overall performance, even though the structure proved less than stable due to some controversial additions to the engineering. We have, however, succeeded in making a spectacular weapons development program. So, we're going to categorize that launch as unsuccessful. Catastrophic failure. Okay, guys, this was just for my own amusement, <laughs> and I knew exactly what would happen. But <laughs> I gotta do it. The Wayfarer Mark II, which is, it's the Mark I, except you'll notice one particular change. <laughs> and <now> the <laughs> okay, I gotta do this. Oh, I didn't save it. Okay, um. Revert to the VAB. All I did was put eight solid fuel boosters in a ring right here and bathe the, the crafted fire, but they overheated and exploded. And I. The failures in this game are often so spectacular to see. Alright, we gotta do that again. Since they're unmanned, I feel no compunction whatsoever. I did basically. I just stuck them like. here. Or so, not like that. <laughs> what if? Oh, God. 
God, I don't even... Also, the tricoupler just fucks every kind of symmetry in the A. Okay, what if... Now, bear with me here. This is almost certain to not work. What if... We attached them here... So that when they exploded, or they wouldn't explode, rather, because the reason they were exploding was they were all packed so close together. Um, <clears throat> this will fire on the first stage. Um, <laughs> I think I know what's gonna happen, but why not? Also, fair warning, this is gonna be really, really, really fucking loud. <laughs> So be so turn down your things now because we're about to launch. You know, turn them back up like when the the flight is over or when you hear me laugh or whatever. But I'm serious. This is gonna be really fucking loud. lost this engine, yep. Mm. So again, you know, what we did, we did for science. This thing isn't going to survive, we may as well do science with it. As we learn valuable things from these failures, science to your last breath, little man. Extend the landing gear. Get her upright. Nope. So. That was not what I expected to happen. Okay, let's... Radial decoupler was damaged by... Okay, the solar fuel booster. Structural failure on Lincoln's from inline advanced stabilizer. So it's this... Okay, yeah, we can see even right now. This one was more entertaining because it kind of cut the rocket in two as it was accelerating. Engine parts flew everywhere. We've, we've had a couple failures like that in these videos. They're always pretty spectacular to watch. Alright, fine. I'll actually try to make something that'll fly. Oof. Okay. <laughs> um. Gosh. Uh, let's try it. Uh, we're gaining valuable knowledge about what does and doesn't work. My initial thought was to do literally the exact same design I did last time, but a single thing instead of a tricoupler. Um, I think that would literally get us the exact same performance, though. Okay, this thing may explode, too, so, uh... Explode in a manner that we... Okay, the booster's lifted. That's good. I've got to put winglets on the outside. Oh, just damn it. You'll notice I had to put three couplers in a row to clear them with the maneuvering fins. It's lifting. 
watching us. Slowly. Yeah, this is... This rocket's in it to win it, everybody. And we'll see if it actually does. Those boosters lifting us up may make the difference. They may go we're really slow for altitude. I'm gonna wait till we get past 100,000 for a gravity turn, just because we're going kind of slow. Uh, fuck it. Now we see if I can control this, but we both come on. Just... doesn't look... Okay, it's gonna work, probably. It's gonna work. Just hold it there. Burn like your life depended on it, because, um, it does. Okay, yeah, I like this. Uh... We've got a bunch of stages left, which is good. away. Okay, that got us out of the thick part of the atmosphere, at least. So we're still sort of on track. And I'll just do this by hand again, honestly. Still kind of hard to control this, but we are mostly out of the atmosphere, so it's a little easier. Then we just point towards the apoapsis, and we should be okay. I'd love to see those state, those boosters actually... Okay, this time we're really coming for you, motherfucker. So hey, the victory is passing sort of overhead. We won't really be able to see it. We're not even close. But anyhow, we're coming up on the thing. At about, uh, this is a lot of mass we're pushing, we only have one engine, so I'm going to be generous and go at about T-40. We're going to get set up for that, just because it's making me a little nervous. Okay, we'll go and burn. We'll see what that does to us. Yeah, it was a good idea to burn a little early. We're, we're gonna pass the apoapsis. Um, but we're gonna fight, damn it. That's a much more reasonable volume for our rockets to be at, everybody. Which was my real goal. Let's keep pushing it down a little bit. Widen up the orbit, that's my main goal. Rather than just increasing the height. And since we're up here, separating the stages like that not a, is not a bad thing. We just need to get the lander stage to the moon, and I think we can do this. 